What's good YouTube, NBA here, and today I'm back here recording another video for you guys. More 21 content, I got nothing else to post right now. I don't got clips, so you saw the title, you know, best jump shot for spot up stretches. And I'm not gonna be stingy, you're not gonna have to skip. Right here is the jump shot. Jump shot is Dwayne Wade, Clay Thompson, Rudy Gay, 60-40. Uh, three out of four. You can try four out of four, but I don't think it was gonna work that well. You know, that's just me. And this jump shot, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This jump shot isn't 100% green. I'd say uh, expect more whites than greens. That's all I'm gonna say. You're gonna see it a lot in this video. You're gonna see a lot of whites, but don't let that like change your mind about this jump shot. You can still green. There's a lot of games where I went like five for five six for six all greens but i feel like that's just how the game is like you can't green all the time you know you can do it but it's rare you now i'm rising up and yeah i just gave you guys a jump shot click off the video if you need because i'm just gonna say nonsense you can stay if you want to see like more gameplay you know this jump shot i like the jump shot i haven't changed it for a while finally i green and yeah, it's a pretty good jump shot. You don't really have to time it that well. You know, it's a lot of leeway. You can make a lot of whites, so you don't gotta you don't gotta sweat. You know, you don't gotta complain. You don't gotta you don't gotta green every jump shot. Some jump shots are like that. We have to green literally everything. If you don't green it, it's not going in. But this jump shot, it's a different story. You know. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys gameplay. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but. Hey, that's a jump shot. Uh, I don't know what content I'm gonna post in the future. Uh, I might post 20 content, but I keep forgetting to record. So I'm not sure. Whatever you guys want. I might record Rush One on One because that's coming out at the end of the month. So if you guys want that, let me know. I don't really have anything to post. Like it's all up to you guys, you know? If y'all want 21, I'll hop on 21 and I'll force myself to play. If y'all want 20 content, because that's what I've been seeing a lot in this community. A lot of people have been coming back to NBA 2K20. It's like, damn, you know, maybe that game wasn't that bad. I have mixed feelings about the game. I can play the game. You know, I enjoy 2K more when I play 20. Because I don't go against Zens or post scores. If you don't know, man, off, off camera, off record, man. I go against so many post scores, y'all understand. This is the first build, center build that I made that has defense, and I can't even play it because I'm going against two post scores a day. You know, I, I hate post scores. If you're a post scorer, just no, you don't deserve any love. No support, nothing. You're bad, just no. You post score, you might as well have like a 91 percentage because if you lose, you gotta be terrible. I hate the post scores, but hey, I'm not ranting. That's the end of the video. Uh, follow me on Twitter. It's NBA Gamer 615. Follow my TikTok. It's on the screen right now. And thank y'all for watching. And I am out. Peace.